Hello everyone, my name is Jesus Garrido. I come from the University of Granada from Eduardo Ross Group. And we are involved in SP10, as he said, but this work is a collaboration with SP6 with Professor Egidio D'Angelo. So this work is entitled Oscillation-Driven Spike Timing Dependent Plasticity Allows Multiple Overlapping Pattern Recognition in Inhibitory Interneural Networks. Okay, with this long title, it involves several topics, but the main question it tries to solve is how a population of inhibitory interneurons can recognize uh, patterns that have been previously presented to this network. So in these slides, I will show you some of the key pieces of the system. Um, the main part is, uh, of course, we have a theoretical neural network involving two layers, a first layer of excitatory neurons, a second layer of inhibitory interneurons. All the excitatory neurons are connected to all the inhibitory neurons, and all the inhibitory neurons are connected to each other. So the second key part of this system is the spike time independent plasticity. In this model, we have included two different types of long-term plasticity. The first one for the excitatory connections, or all these connections, is classical STDP. So when uh, presynaptic spikes occur uh, just before the postsynaptic spike, the weights are potentiated, but in the other case, in the opposite case, the weights are depressed. But the inhibitory connections include uh, inhibitory STDP. With this kind of plasticity that has been found in the inhibitory interneurons in the hippocampus, we see that the weights are potentiated when it happens closely, the presynaptic spike occurs closely to the postsynaptic spike, and depression occurs in the, in the other case. The third uh, key element of this system is uh, is oscillation driven. It means the inputs include uh, uh, an external component involving the oscillation occurring in theta frequency band in the local field potential. These oscillations are included in the, as an input to the excitatory layer with, uh, simultaneously with the multiple overlapping patterns. Uh, previous works had shown that uh, an only uh, an only neuron is able to recognize the the emergence of uh, excitatory patterns. But in this system, we use different patterns that are occurring simultaneously and mainly overlapping during the time. So. As we simulated this system using the NEST software in a supercomputer, after adjusting some of the parameters, we see that at the starting of the, of the simulation with a naive network, we see this is the, the activity of the input layer, and this is the membrane potential of, of the two inhibitory uh, interneurons. We see that there are no spikes at the beginning of the simulation, but after some time of simulation, mainly a thousand of seconds, we see that uh, each uh, inhibitory interneuron is firing in response and only when its uh, corresponding pattern is occurring in the inputs, is reaching the inputs. So with these elements, I, I hope to meet you in the poster session to ask your question or give your feedback. Thank you.